a Cards with Michael production. What's up, YouTube? Cards with Michael here, back with another box break. Today, this is a, video, a giveaway video. Uh, we'll be giving away two packs of opened Little Masters. Uh, you're going to have to watch through a little bit more to see how to get them. But for now, let's go ahead and do the break. First, we have Nikki's Realm, a YouTube channel. I'm going to give you a heads up. If you do want the goodies, Nikki's the one that sponsored the giveaway today. And uh, if you haven't checked out her YouTube, um, the link will be in the description. She just started a box break channel, so you're going to have to use that link. It's going to be a little bit harder to find it via Google, but hopefully one day uh, it'll be a lot easier to find it. Okay, and then we have Leslie for 17 packs, Steven for three, and Tyler for two. And let's get to work. The Dole Masters box. All right. So, uh, have you guys had a chance to, to draft a little bit more of these? Uh, what are your thoughts? You guys crack open a few more of these boxes. Do you like them more or less? Oh, look at that. <laughs> box topper pack. Uh, today's both box toppers. Uh, we did a little randomizer via raffle, and uh, Leslie got both of them. All right. And uh, let's grab all these packs out. Box just dropped. And put that to the side. And let's get to it. Let's get to it. So, once again, uh, Nikki's Rum has sponsored two packs to be given away. All right, let's open those two packs. And while I'm opening them, I'll talk about what you must do to uh, be eligible for this giveaway. All right, the first thing you got to do okay, is you need to subscribe to Nikki's channel. Um, so find it via that, that link in the description. And, um, and yeah, hit that subscribe button. Then the second thing you must do, all right, lead to the tangle and an endless atlas, right? And two foil commons, alabaster mage and Vidalcan infuser, right? And then the second thing you must do is... Uh, you must comment on any of Nikki's videos, all right? Just pick a video that you like, or, or hey, if you don't like it much, you know, you have some feedback, constructive criticism, comment that as well um, on any of her videos. And then the last thing uh, that you have to do, now at any point in time, it, it's possible if, if it, you know, if you have the time, give, give any of the videos a like, the video that you commented on, this video, um, and then the last thing, the third thing that I ask you to do is comment on this video saying that you subscribe to Nikki, right? Hey, Death Shadow, and what is the last giveaway? A walking ballista! All right, all right, that's something. It's definitely something. That's not nothing. A foil disciple of the vault and a foil fatal push with this wolf token. All right, so um, that is these all these cards, these four rares, and uh, these commons and uncommons will be shipped off to the uh, winner of this giveaway. Um, we'll start it when this video comes out and I'll end it on Monday. Sorry, sorry, make that Sunday uh, this week, which is a the 30th. So let's say midnight Eastern time, All right? Okay, and off to Leslie coming in with 17 packs. Thank you so much for sponsoring so much. And of course you get the two box hoppers. Uh, which makes sense. It's 17 entries to get both box hoppers, and you came. Both your names came out on top. All right, here we go. Whoa! Ding ding ding! We got a mythic already. All right. And uh, this is Dark Steel Forge. Still a good mythic. Good mythic. Of course, it was banned um, in modern, but hey, a little super strong card. Mirror Battle. Of course, also a really strong, cool art. Look at that. So just so bold these colors by what is it? Martina Pilsaroiva. Alright. Mirror Battle Sphere is our second rare. A foil divest. What's our second foil? And a foil ancient stirrings. Alright, alright. Okay, not bad, not bad for a first pack. Alright. Huh. Let's just set aside the rest. This is four more packs. Four more packs. Four more packs. And four more packs. All right. So everything in this pile is for Leslie. Let's get some goodies. 
Let's open some goodies. All right, here we go. Here comes pack, ooh, nice little Urza's power plant. This is pack number, I believe, two for Leslie. Hey, a Lightning Greaves, gorgeous. Yabamaya's Embrace, I love this card. And another Mythic, ding, 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 an Imperial Recruiter. Hello. Oh my gosh, I should get my editor to like edit my face in there and see if it changes anything. <laughs> oh no, I just gave him an idea. Hey, a Maze of Ith, lovely, lovely. Equal Wellspring and a Tumble Magnet. All right. Oh, yeah. Sorry, the tokens have other sides. Um, wow. <laughs> two packs, two mythics. We just stop. Call it a video. Call it a day. And just end it. No, I believe. I believe uh, six to nine mythics is kind of the, the range I've been seeing. I don't know what range you guys have been seeing. Got a Magus of the Abyss and an Oblivion Stone. Okay. All right. And two foils. All right, a Strix and a Crib Swap. Yeah, so let me know what you've been seeing. Uh, let me make these piles a little bit better. I also have noticed that in general, like it's really, really hard to get a four mythic. Like in VIPs, we should see one per like case, maybe two per case, but I don't know. Well, mythics are a little bit more rare than, than I first I thought. Onaganata, Boon Reflection, and a Jora. Weatherlight Captain, downshifted from a Mythic, and two foils, Executioner's Capsule, and a Rapacious Dragon. All right, let's lower this a little bit and continue on with our quest. So you know what I've never opened in these packs? I've never opened a Force of Will. We've opened Mana Crypt and Foil Mana Crypt in these booster packs, um, but we've never opened a Force of Will. Uh, like the original Force of Will. Well, not the original, but the uh, Eternal Masters version. All right, we have a Sunken Runes here in a Blink Moth Nexus, all right? And we got a Chromatic Star. Look at that a shiny rainbow. And an Accomplished Automaton, all right? Ape. Okay, into the next pack. All right. Here we go. Disciple, Sphinx, a Goblin Guide, and a Maelstrom Pulse, all right? Equal Wellspring and a Flare Husk. All right. Oh, man. It's that time of the video where we do talk a little bit about, uh, you know, things financy related on sealed product. Um, it seems like set boosters are going to be hard to find. All right. That's the headline. Uh, Zendikar Rising, um, you know, we were expecting to get, you know, a decent amount, maybe close to the amount that we get for uh, draft boosters, and that number is, I don't know, I think it's more like most stores that, that are, like, kind of volume will get, like, 48. Um, I think it's, it's, it's kind of, like, telling when uh, it's kind of sold out on Amazon, and Amazon's price has gone up a little. Um, and it looks like it's going to settle around like the 129.99 range. Like that's, ooh, another mythic. A oh, really good one too. Sword of Fire and Ice. Look at that. Um, yeah, set boosters, I don't know. Uh, I really, really was excited to get them. And apparently everyone else is too. So uh, if you haven't pre-ordered that uh, um, and you're like kind of stuck, you can only really shop from your local store. Look, if there's going 129.99, uh, just don't be too upset. It just looks like the supply on these is really constrained. And as with anything, when supply is constrained, well, you know, price goes up. Unless somehow demand doesn't go up. And, you know, I'm, I'm fairly certain the demand is kind of steady for the set boosters. Everyone's going to want one to open for fun. Experience that, you know. Um, yeah, I can't. I got nothing. I got nothing. It's, it's, it's tough. Uh... It, you know, I can't tell if that supply constraint is coming from pure production or, you know, it's a little more deliberate shenanigans. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fourth mythic already for Leslie. We got a Trinosphere here. All right. All right. And interesting that the, the mythic is first all the time. Crushing Vines and a, deep, a foil rare, a deep glow skate. All right. All right. Oh, uh, what else? Zendikar Collectors, uh, the rumor is out, of course, you might have already heard it, that the uh, collect collector boxes are triple in supply. 
I get that vibe too. I, I think that, uh, um, you know, we'll be able to get most of the collectors that we want to pre-order and buy. Um, but we won't on the set. So take that for what it is. Oh my gosh, a fifth mythic in 17 packs. Oh, goody. What a goody. All right. Um, and, you know, the only reason that even pause causes me pause is, I don't know. I still have this weird inkling of a feeling that supply is constrained on all these stuff. Right? Like, just because it's triple the print run or whatever doesn't mean nothing to me until I get that stuff in my hands. That's just how I am with uh, sealed product these days. So many stores oversell. Um, I tried to purchase some uh, set boosters from a store and I was refunded immediately yesterday. Uh, and they were like, yeah, we accidentally listed that we had uh, 70 plus of these. So actually we had zero. And I'm like, oh, okay. All right. Thank you guys for doing that. For accidentally listing almost 70 more than you had. Um, and then, all right. So that's Zendikar Rising. I do think that, uh, you know, people keep telling me about Fetchlands. Just because they are in Zendikar Rising or potentially are does not mean they're not in um, the, the Commander of Legends, which I'll talk about in a bit. Um, another thing is, uh, you know, I think the draft boosters really need... Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> Six Mythics. Sword of Feast and Famine. Ding, ding, ding. Beautiful. Let me have some, some foils. Um, I think draft boosters need more love. Uh, like, there's no reason to buy them now that no one's drafting. You draft online. You draft on Arena. You don't draft in stores much anymore um and stores need to need to have these for allocation purposes so i don't know what they're gonna do like i feel like uh wizards might have preempted this might have known about this that set boosters would do that so they maybe i would have if i were wizards i would have put a box topper into the draft boosters and uh just like any other box topper there maybe 40 possible cards um ooh, okay all right coolio uh, 40 pops. Oh, a foil mythic as well? <laughs> foil Vengevine. Jeez, this is a good box. Hopefully this is a good box. We'll do the prices. But dang, that is a cool spicy one. And foil, of course. The Toll Collector. Um, yeah, if I were Wizards, I'd put, I'd have a box hopper and then like maybe 40 possible cards. Uh, 20 of them possibly basic lands maybe. Just like full art, full basic lands that are only box hopper exclusive. Like that would, you know create some value and then maybe like 10 lands that are like i don't know some maybe 30 of them basic lands actually to be honest um and then 10 of them fetch lands so that's just an idea that i have that would make draft boosters worth like something you know like right now they're just like who wants to buy those like it's a very small market um because if you're just buying the crack packs now it's set boosters right unless set boosters get sold out and then you have no choice but that's not optimal you know what i mean it's not optimal um yeah, so Commander Legends, uh, thoughts on it early are, well, seems like across the board. Uh, you can ask your stores about this too, but they're going to be a little bit more expensive. So the draft booster boxes for uh, Commander Legends are a little bit more expensive than your standard draft booster boxes, which is fine. Like, it's actually, I think that's actually pretty, pretty decent. All right, we have a Blood Moon. Look at that. And a Toxic Deluge. Ding, ding, ding. A back-to-back. -back. Nice little hits on that one. Um, we got some Foil Everflow Chalice and a Foil Weapon Surge. And, of course, a clue token. Uh, my, yeah, my thinking is just that, uh, you know, draft boosters of Commander Legends are just like a really budget-friendly version of Master's boost, Booster Boxes. And uh, I'm on board. I'm on board for that. Now, the, uh, the Commander Legends Collector Boxes are also more expensive than normal Collector Boxes, I believe. No, no, actually, no. I think they're about the same price uh, from, you know, retail uh, buying from distributors. Now, uh... I do think that they'll come in higher premium, though. More than Zedekar Rising. Um, that's just my early thoughts. Because uh, it's just like, you know, Commander stuff, it has a different multiplier. It really does. All right. Leslie, we got you. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, and a foil mythic? Oh, my goodness. That is ding, ding, ding. Ring the bell. All right. All right. And a foil, of course, Deep Glow Skate. And a bunch of tokens. And, of course, more rares. Double the amount of rares and mythics. All right. So, Leslie, once again, thank you so much for sponsoring. We'll get back to you in a bit with those box hoppers. We'll open those at the end. Um, but for now, Steve and L, we got three packs for you. One, two, and 
three. Is that one of each art? Yeah, that is one of each art. Awesome, awesome. Commander Legends. Uh, all right, let's let's get that thing out. Let's get this out of the way. It is the most exciting set for me ever. It was the most exciting set when on a release. It's something I'm so excited for. I love draft. I don't really play Commander. Uh, and then, ooh, a nice little foil Urza's power plant. All right, a little bit of value there. Um, one of the reasons why I am excited for it is because I love Commander Draft. Like, I've been trying to get that to work. I, I host a lot of Chaos Drafts, and I've been trying to get that to work. Uh, I, I've also seen cubes, all right, that do Commander Cube. Um, and I just, like, I've been trying to get that to work for years. And when they released this product as an idea, and I was like, oh my gosh, Wizards, smart guys. Obliette, nice little value card. And Braids and Mazarek and a foil golden skin gauntlets all right all right and the last hackaroo for steven all right let's get to it let us get to it so yeah i'm i'm super excited to draft it i'm super excited to crack uh collector packs get cool commander staples like everything about it is just something i'm excited about the only thing I'm not excited about is trying to pre-order now and give free interest loans to multiple stores. All right, so any little foil feathered heath, not bad. That's like, you know, like, do we want to do that? I guess if you want to lock in really, really potentially cheap prices. Um, but I don't know. I'm not really ready for that right now. I, I haven't even, the ink isn't even dry. In fact, the ink is so not dry in Jennifer Rising. We, like most stores don't even know how much they're getting. And now, like, some stores are kicking in money. For, look, like, I think it's, you know, if you're a good business person, you, there's an opportunity. People want to buy into the hype. Um, but I, uh, you know, if you guys have, you know, a semblance of patience on this um, and a willingness to accept that FOMO could happen if you, you know, pause for now, uh, I'd hold off a little bit, you know. Um, I think they're releasing it, like, November. So right now it's, like, late August at least wait until sometime in September um, to pre-order. All right, Mishra's Bobble. Hi, Market. Wow, Tyler, the last card of the box is a Jace the Mind Sculptor. So that, so Leslie was able to take six Mythics and a Foil Mythic. And Jason, you were able to nab a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Look at that. Called Delta Flame Fiend and a Dark Steel Axe. All right, all right. Okay, well, <laughs> nice little pull there. I mean, these cards are still, still valuable. Doesn't matter how many times you print this card. It's still <laughs> it's a staple. It's a staple in many formats. All right, let's put that away, get to the box hoppers. And once again, a reminder that the first two packs we open for Nikki, um, a quick refresher, Walking Ballista, Death Shadow, Endless Atlas, Lead to the Tangle, and of course, a bunch of commons and uncommons. Uh, we'll be giving away to one lucky winner. Um, whoever is able to follow the three steps I talked about in the early part of the video. I'll talk about it in the end. Basically, subscribe to Nikki's Realm, her channel, and um, comment on any of her videos. Give some honest feedback. Like, do you like what she's doing? You know, if you have any feedback on how she can improve, how she can win your time to view her videos. And then also comment here um, on this video to let me know that you did that, and uh, I will get you in that giveaway. It'll end this Sunday, by the way, August 30th. All right, here are the box hoppers. Got an Urza's Tower, and what is the next one? Mark Poole coming in with a exploration. All right, that is the video. Hope you guys had a good time, and I will see you on the next one.